For Victory by Bolt Thrower. The song is in C sharp standard and I'll put the tuning in the description and it starts like this. <laughs> So, on the A string, fret 9, 8 of the D, 10 9 of the A. So, repeat that. Then we're going to play 10 of the A, 8 of the D, 10 9 on the A. Then on the A string, 7. 10, 9, 10, so. Okay, then it plays that a couple of times as the intro. Then in the verse, we're going to play that bit twice. <coughs> Excuse me, and then on the third time, we got. So 9 of the A, onto the D, 11, 9, 8, so, sorry, repeat that, 10 on the A, back onto the D, 11, 9, 8, and then on back onto the A, 7, 10, 9, 10, so, Let's do it again from the start. So the intro. Play that twice. Then into the verse. So we're going to play that twice again. And again, obviously. Then we got the 9, 11, 9, 8. 9, 11, 9, 8, 10, 11, 9, 8, back onto the A, 7, 10, 9, 10. So over the top of that. chords all on the bottom string fret 2 3 open then we have this riff so we're tremolo picking and these are the notes. So, on the bottom string, two, three, two, open, two, three, two, open, two, open, two, three, two, three, open, two, three, one of the A string, three of the E, one of the A, three of the E, two of the E, open, three. So, again slowly, to play it like this. Which 
string, I think it's a bit easier because you're all on one string. So, very similar, but instead of playing the first fret of the A, we're going to play the sixth fret of the D. <laughs> back into that riff and Then we're back into. Then we have this riff. So, power chords on the A string. Ten. Nine, nine, seven, nine. So then on the bottom string, two, three of the A, two of the bottom string, three of the A, two. I think it goes to an open as you're coming back up. So. So that, that second half, the, that first part is the same. Then we're going to come up to five of the bottom string. So. And then open. So together. Then we have this riff. So there seems to be a very subtle difference in here. So we're going to play. Which is the which is the what I call the longer duration version. So we've got, and we're playing on, um, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's four picks on that, so. Yeah, so there's like a four pick version and a two pick version. So I'll tell you what, I'm, I'll explain what I mean. So we're gonna play two, three, two. Five three three two one uh, three two open and then seven five on oh, this is all on the bottom E string. Okay, and we're gonna pick four times four times four times on the B. Then there's what I would call the two pick version. So, so we're only playing twice on these in between notes. So that's two, four times on the three, back to two, four times on the A or the five here, back down to three. Then three, two, open four times on the B and then down to the five or seven and five then you're only going to pick twice so it's a shorter space on this on this note and then again we're going to play twice on here down to three three two open and then twice and then twice on the seven 
and then down to the five again. So. I think that's what's happening. That's what my ear is telling me, but I could be wrong. So you've got that riff and then you've got the solo over the top of it, which I'll go through now. So the solo starts like this. So we're on the G string and we're going to play 11, 12, 11, 9, 11. So again, 11, 12, 11, 9, 11, and play that through three times. Then we're going to play 12 of the B to 11 of the B. Then we're going to play this again, this little lick. I'm going to play that twice. Then we're going to play the same lick on the D string, which is 11, 12, 11, 9, 11. Then we're going to play 12 of the D and 11 twice. So put that bit together. But don't choke that note out like I just did. Then twice on here. Twice on this, uh, once on this little lick. Twelve. And eleven. Then we have this little lick. So, on the G string, eleven to twelve. Eleven of the B. 12 to 11 of the G. Then 11 of the D, 11 of the G. So that again, that's 11 of the D, 11 of the G, 12 to 11 of the B. So put those together. Then we got 12 of the E, 15 of the B, 14 of the B, slide back to 12, okay so, then back onto 11 of the G, so that's 11, 12 sorry. 11 of the B, 12 of the G down to 11, then so that's 14 of the B, 12, 11, and then 12 and 11 of the G. Then we're going to slide up 12 of the G, 15 of the G, 12 of the B, back to 12 of the G, 12 of the B, 15 of the G, 12, 11 of the G. So let's look at that bit slowly. Then we have this lick. And then we've 
got some whammy bar action at the end, but I haven't got a whammy bar on here, so I'm not doing that bit. So we've got on the B string, 15 to 14. 15 to 14 again. 17 to 15. Then we do a little hammer, 15, 17, 15. Down to 14 and then 12. So. Then 15, 14. Then we got 14, 16 on the G. And then 15, 14 again on the B. 17, 15. And then we're going to hit 21 of the high E string. And if you've got a whammy bar, give it a good old shake. If you haven't, then don't. So. And that's the end of the solo. Then we have this riff. Then we have this riff. So similar to the intro riff, 9 of the A, 8 of the D, 10 9 of the A, repeat that, 10 of the A, 8 of the D, 10 9 of the A, and then we're going to play power chord 7 of the A down to 5 of the A. So repeat that. Then we've got so 9 of the A, then onto the D, 11, 9, 8. Repeat 10 of the A, 11, 9, 8 of the D, and then those chords again. Then the song ends with this riff. So on the D string, 8, 9, 8. On the A, fret 9. On to the D, 8, 9. And then down to 9 of the A. So. Then we're going to play that note again, which is 9 of the A. 8 of the D to 9 of the D. Then 8, 9, 11. All on the D. Back to 9. And then the power chords. So. The other guitar is just playing. So that's power chords on the bottom string, fret two, three, on the A string, seven to five. And that is the end.